Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the Euro US dollar FX for Thursday, May 16th, 2013. Well, a continuation of the trend to the downside for today's trading. Uh, previous day's trading we had a lower high and a lower low. Today we have a uh, lower high but a higher low so uh, in bar chart terms we have an inside day and that doesn't change the trend so we don't have the opposite configuration of a trend to give us a trend to the upside so the prior trend which was to, to, to the downside remains in force now the fact that we have uh, an inside day in bar chart terms does raise some serious doubt about continuation of the trend to the downside and that's basically because the sellers weren't strong enough to uh, take out the previous uh, low but also uh, by the same token the buyers weren't strong enough to take out the previous high so there is a lot of doubt the inside days are uh, bars of uh, indecision and uh, looking at this uh, in candlestick terms uh, we have this very small body as well so it's also a spinning top type candle almost a doji candle and they are very serious candles of indecision and potentially uh, uh, candles that can uh, signify a, a strong potential for a change of trend uh, so we have the prior downtrend in force and uh, here we've seen uh, the size of the small uh, bodies uh, becoming smaller and smaller and for today's trading even smaller than for the previous day so it tells us that even though the sellers are making net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close that the amount that they're making as the trend continues down is becoming shorter and shorter and tells us something about the weakening of the of the sellers and that's exactly what we have here very very weak candle now the market interacted with the important 128.57 level previous resistance as uh, support as we can see here and then previous resistance and then finally broken and for the previous two consecutive candles that area has held as support so that does suggest there is a good possibility of a change of trend the only problem here though is that any change of trend is going to interact with the bottom of the cloud and the bottom of the cloud is a very very significant area of resistance and we can see for the previous two consecutive trading days there has been solid price rejection from that area so this market is really a market that's bound by very strong support below but even stronger resistance overhead and the possibility of this trend changing is not too great uh, there is a possibility that we could see continued congestion um, and then uh, some uh, uh, activity perhaps testing down below the 128.57 level but we really do need to be ready to to react to this market as it uh, interacts with these levels of support and resistance now in terms of uh, candlesticks this is pretty much a, uh, a potential reversal pattern it's a tweezers bottom pattern and that's where we have these lows roughly around the same area so they pretty much close enough for that to be a tweezers pattern so there is a potential for a change of trend but as I've said any potential change of trend is limited by the fact that the bottom of the cloud is very close by if we do see the market test down below the 128.57 level in a bearish manner we could quickly see the market testing to the top of this yellow highlighted area and this was a, a zone of very strong prior support and resistance that extends all the way down to 126.50 from 127.50 and we can see here previously that 127.50 level is very very important has been uh, tested in a very solid manner and price action has been rejected from there in a very strong way so that is uh, very very solid uh, support down around there now in terms of the uh, Fibonacci extension we're examining the relationship of the first time frame downtrend to the previous time the market was trending down and here today for the second consecutive day we've seen the market interacting with the 161.8% level at 128.54 uh, this indecisiveness that's been introduced into the market uh, following uh, a candle for the previous day's trading where the um, sellers lost control and they lost commitment uh, this does suggest good potential for a change of trend but as I've mentioned limited to the upside by the strong overhead resistance now if this trend does continue down our next target is the 261.8% level at 126.44 and that coincides roughly with the bottom of that uh, area of uh, that large highlighted yellow zone of uh, potential support 
The uh, Fibonacci retracement here paints a, a slightly different picture. We are in an expansive mode of that. We saw the bearish breakout down below the 161.8% level, limited by the cloud, and then we saw the breakout down below the cloud here. This suggests the possibility of the market trading down to the 261.8% level at 127.70. But if we're looking at the behaviour of these two uh, previous candles, the indecisiveness in this market, the lack of, uh, of uh, control from the sellers, uh, doesn't really uh, give us a lot of confidence in the market trading down to this 127.70 level. That level coincides roughly with the lows around of these uh, candles here. Uh, so it will be a very, very strong area of support if the market does test down below uh, where it's trading at the moment to these levels. But uh, seriously, looking at, uh, at these current candles, a lot of indecision in this market at the moment. In terms of Ichimoku, uh, we now have a bearish market in the long term time frame for quite some time, uh, roughly about uh, three weeks or so we had a neutral market because we were trading within the cloud. So we've had some resolution at the moment, we've had a breakout down below the cloud. So technically with Ichimoku that gives us a bearish signal, a sell signal. So that's good. We do um, need to look at it uh, uh, in broader picture terms however don't uh, look at the Ichimoku charts in isolation so pure Ichimoku practitioners uh, will take that as a sell signal but I also like to look at obviously close by areas of support and resistance and 128.57 is a solid limiting factor to the potential for this market to continue trending down in big picture terms but also the fact that the breakout down below the cloud wasn't terribly bearish in terms of the black body it was so the sellers made net bearish progress but uh, if we look at where the market closed within the range the uh, neither side took control of the market previously we had the sellers in control so the sellers haven't shown any strength and if we do see the sellers show some strength in this market I'll feel a lot more confident about the breakout that we saw down below the Ichimoku cloud and uh, if we do see uh, that so uh, solid bearish close down below 128.57, we could see the market testing these targets down below. In terms of the uh, shorter time frames, the market's trading below the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen, so we're bearish in the medium and fast term time frames. And the Chikya span here is below the corresponding price action, so what we're seeing with the Ichimoku indicators is uh, confirming this negativity uh, in the three time frames and all we need to see is some uh, some bearishness the bears uh, take control of this market once again and we could quickly see the market trading down to around this 127.50 level a word of caution here is the flat Kijun Sen uh, very often price action is attracted back towards the flat Kijun Sen so there is a possibility of that happening but if we look at the indecisiveness in the market at the moment with this candle not a, uh, a strong likelihood of that happening and severely limited by the potential res resistance at the top of the cloud. So uh, here uh, what we're really looking for is a potential breakout below 128.57. Uh, let's react to the market if we see that. Um, there is a possibility of the market testing up to the top of the cloud and uh, perhaps trading it to higher levels but uh, uh, with the Ichimoku indicators being all negative uh, uh, our bias should be towards uh, the short side.